since my last video on this topic, I've seen a lot of comments about all the new post tweets, the update video APs released, and a person who stole my video thinking they could pass it for fair use. In this video, I'd like to address all of that. However, before I do, I just want to say thanks for the astounding support on the last video and all the videos before that. It was so cool to see that video of Ghost of Griever do well because we put in a lot of work to create it. And again, as mentioned before, even though, you know, Griever isn't in this video, go subscribe to Ghost of Griever, okay? They're a really good channel, really nice person, go subscribe. Anyway, on the topic of subscriptions, in my last video I set you a goal. My birthday is August 10th, two days from now. I turned 16. I said on my last video that I was aiming for 6.9k subscribers by my birthday. We then did 300 subscribers from that video alone, bringing us to 6.2k. Okay, which, you know, that's really close. If we push really hard, we can hit the goal. Seriously, more than ever, if you want to do funny number haha -ha XD, subscribe. We have two days to hit this goal, and it will not be pokers if you do not subscribe. Also, side tangent, my Discord server has 400 members, which is kind of epic. If we can get 500, we can actually get verified by Discord, which would be kind of cool. Anyway, if you want to join, you can come have a fun conversation with a bunch of people, share your art, fan art, discuss drama, talk in general chat, share memes. <laughs> We have basically every channel you could need, but it's also like homely and it doesn't feel too like official and blah, 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 blah. You get it. So if you want to join, link is in the pinned comment and description. Anyway, on to our first topic. I'd like to start with the one most related to me. So I'm going to talk about a video made by Senpai's Home. This video was called Dr. Apis the Liar LOL. And within this video, Senpai's Home says nothing. The video consists of words from another YouTuber, me and Ghost of Griever. However, this guy tried to pass this video as his own, used lots of my content without transforming it, and more. So for legal reasons, I've taken down this video of a copyright complaint, which is exactly what Sleuth had to do for the same channel. But then he tried to call out Sleuth and said that Sleuth was using the system. So for that sake, I'm gonna, just in a little bit, try and teach you what fair use and transformation is. It seems this channel tries to find smaller creators or larger creators and steal their content, credit them in the most minimal way possible via just writing their name in the description and trying to pass it off as their own content. This is not fair use and for that reason I thought I'd go over the actual definition and meaning of fair use and transformation because it is not subjective like a certain YouTuber would lead you to believe. Cheeto. Okay. Fair use is the use of content in a way that transforms it to a large amount from the original content. This could be by adding criticism, responses to the video, added detail, news reporting, or for the purposes of adding something new to the video. Not reusing or re-uploading the video of bare minimal work in editing, changing, or transforming the content. So, unlucky Pokemon. Anyway, I decided for that reason, I should explain to you how videos like this don't pass under fair use compared to other videos that do. So, take Leafy's here for example. In his new videos, Leafy talks about a video, shows a clip, adds detail, context, and added entertainment. This is fair use. He's transforming and adding to the content. He's making it his own. Now, let's look at the video by Senpai's Home and decide whether it's fair use based on the same logic. Okay. Hey everyone, this is... We start the, the video with Stanpai. So, what he's done is he's just added in an intro from Stanpai. So, you know, not the best case of fair use. Seems like he's playing off pretending to be Stanpai. Kind of weird. Stampai with a follow-up video regarding Love Letter. Uh-oh! And then, he's inserted a meme. Great. Early on in my experience on the project, there was somebody who was removed from the team because of sexual harassment allegations made by fellow team members in addition to them having a documented past of that kind of behavior. So step Firstly, just to clear up who Stampai is, Stampai is a person with a personal vendetta against Zaid. They have had a, a personal vendetta with Zaid since Zaid was on the team and before these accusations came out and before Zed had done anything that this guy tries to claim that he's done. So just in that context, take it as you will, but Stampai, you know, clearly isn't <laughs> the best of people to trust in this case, but... Uh-oh! When they were removed from the team, as I mentioned before, a day later, Dr. Apius asked everybody on the server if they would be okay with giving this person another chance. So, as you can see, it's Stampai's video cut together. We go through, it's just Stampai's video, and then... He lied to us! Transition. Okay. So, 
you know, you're expecting, right, at this point, you're expecting the actual person behind this video to start their part, where they discuss the previous clip, they add context to it, they make it fair use. So let's see what happens. Seems it's a leafy fan. Anyway, <laughs> not surprised. But as you can see here, this is my video. As you can see, H O double Y. As you can hear, the lights just got deeper. This is my footage, okay? So he's added an intro, a transition, then my footage, which isn't fair use. He hasn't edited it, he hasn't altered it, he hasn't made it his own, he hasn't in any way made it fair use. This does not classify as fair use so far. So let's watch through it and see if it ends up becoming fair use. According to an anonymous source that contacted me with some evidence to verify their identity, Dr. Apiece is still not changing or adapting to the criticism. He's still keeping his voice sexist in the dark, He's barely doing anything with them. He's treating them like trash. His managers for them is changing every day. And the source believes Zaid is still somewhat involved in the project as a voice actor. So as you can see, my video, we run it through. They are not certain. He lied to us! Just another insertion of Stan Pie again, and then another transition. So what's going to come after the transition? <laughs> At this point, surely, surely this has to be Senpai as home, the person behind the video, you right? So they can add, they can add commentary to make the video fair use. Surely, right? Surely this, this is fair use, right? You know, surely. This new project manager. Oh no! It's me again! Whoa, isn't that weird? He's injected a transition to make it look like this is his own footage and his own segment between the two things I said. This is not transformation. I'm sure. As you can see, another meme, and what's this? What's this part of the video? Is this where he turns it around? You've been over to Dr. Apius's. Oh no, it's Ghost of Griever. <laughs> it's my friend Ghost of Griever. <laughs> and then, you know, surely he had something else at the end of the video. Guy had his reasons for lying, okay. <laughs> this is not fair use. <laughs> anyway, this person behind this video, when I took it down, they took it upon themselves to come to me and try and tell me I'm in the wrong. So, let's have a look. They come on my post, and they say, That's a relief. It'd be hypocritical of you to blame Yandereda for the shit you do. By the way, see it in court if you want to dispute the claim. So I said, You stole my content, that's not fair use. He said, Imagine having to heart your own comment. Lol, I already know you're pathetic due to being a yiffer. But come on now, have some yiffer. I'm not a furry, mate. Alright. Let's give him a nice little response. Alright. <laughs> I've given him a lovely little response. Can't wait to hear you cry in an exposed video about me when your appeal gets rejected. Also, PSA, stealing people's content and then threatening legal action over it. That's pretty pathetic. Because, it's the truth, you stole my content. That was not a fair use clip. That is not how you make fair use. Leafy's videos, he talks about it, he discusses it. What you've done is you've stole people's footage, you've put it together into a big compilation, without their consent, and then re-uploaded it. Which isn't fair use, and people have all their rights to take it down anytime they want. So, this isn't fair use. Anyway, on to the next topic. I want to now discuss the update Dr. Apis has showed off with his tweets. So, without further ado, let's go do that. Okay, as you can see here, Dr. Apis has made two tweets. I thought it was going to take a few weeks, but it took two to three days. The first rivals Monday mean sabotaging events are in the game. And that's time to do the other four, and the main gameplay is completed. This excludes matchmaking and other eliminations. And he showed some cool features. And then here, this is a progress report. And the first thing I'd like to point out is in this video he uses Bochan as a texture, even though it shouldn't have been used at all because the original creator doesn't want it used. But And as you go through the video, you see this. So this is blurred things that show interactions. But I've seen a tweet replying to Dr. Apis's tweet about this, basically breaking it down to showing how little work this actually means he's done. Right, so here you go. It looks like his son has spent a lot of time coding. Oh wait, NPC spitting di 
dialogue alone, one minute, NPCs spitting dialogues in sequence, three minutes, NPCs following hard-coded waypoints, five to ten minutes. So, you know, they just wanted to point that out. I think that's a fair point, because that's all this video shows, but who knows, there could be more. And it does say only a small portion of events are shown here, but, you know, it is what it is. And then he shows off art, which isn't exactly game progress, but I guess it's fine. And then he shows this, which I think this personally is a really good feature in my opinion. This is student personalities, basing them off anime tropes. So seeing that, you know, Bo, uh, Bo Chan, whatever she's called now, and Yandere Chan are Yandere's, it makes sense that there'd be other stereotypical anime tropes like the Yandere in here. So like the clumsy one, the Tsundere, or, you know, you get the idea. So I think this is actually a really cool feature. So good job, Dr. Apis. You made, made a good update on this. And then we've been working on much more than that, but to allow everyone to have a fun experience in love life, we won't be shown too much in videos, which I think is bad because, you know, you're supposed to be a public game that's showing it off to your audience. You've built up 174k subs in three weeks from people that want to see the updates, but you're just saying that you don't want to show it off. I'm not really sure how I feel about that, but his game, his choice, I guess. Anyway, I'm actually really glad I made this video because I think that it's quite informative for people that don't know. And, you know, I covered some cool stuff like the update. So, if you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. I hope this has taught you a bit more about how the inner scenes of YouTube works. Because it's not as easy as it seems. But also, there's a lot of interest and stuff that goes on behind the scenes based on fair use and all, all that stuff. So, you know, subscribe, leave a like. Let's hope that his appeal gets rejected. Because if YouTube allows his appeal through, then I have no choice but to let him slide. Unless I want to take it to court which you know i don't really want to sue a guy over a video this was just sort of like a warning not to steal my content in the future but you know if if youtube decides that he can appeal it then so what he can he can appeal it as long as he credits me properly and doesn't steal my content in the future however if youtube doesn't accept the appeal you know that's fair he should it should be a because the last one he had a strike from sleuth i believe unless sleuth gave him two but i believe sleuth gave him one strike which means you normally get a warning on your first time or it's just like a first strike which is fine so he should be fine either way because the sleuth one should have expired so it should just be one strike at the most so he should be fine but it's important not to let stuff like this slide as a precedent because if you allow people to believe that this is okay, more people do it and it becomes a bigger and bigger issue. It is not okay to steal people's content if you're not transforming it or making it your own content in a way that's fair use, okay? So, I think that's just important for you to know because, you know, people out there work, work hard to make YouTube videos. And when people like this steal content, pass it off as their own and all the replies to comments and then threaten you with a court case if you don't drop the strike. Probably not the best of people to be in charge of your copyright. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you have enjoyed, Discord and subscribe. Let's get 6.9k. I'm going off subscribe, okay? We have two days and we won't do it unless you help, okay? So if you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed, I will actually get a baton and bonk you over the head so hard that you'll... Okay, may maybe a bit far. <laughs> anyway, if, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because I will cry if you don't subscribe. I do not wish to be horny anymore. Enjoy my Discord because we have a bunch of people there. And... As a little message to Senpai's home, bro, go fuck yourself, man. Don't steal my content and then try to pass it off. Me and Ghost of Griever both have complaints of it. I'm guessing Stampai probably would as well. So don't steal content, you unoriginal piece of shit. you wanna rock with me. I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little walk with me. We can catch a fly. Sessy wanna rock with me.